Hey guys, so I want to talk about some books today. Um, I'm going to go through um, a few different books in a theme. Um, these are all like middle school teen books and uh, kind of coming of age, growing up, that sort of thing. Uh, so first, I wanted to talk about actually a uh, trilogy of books. These. So we've got uh, Awkward. Brave. And Crush. So these are by Svetlana Shmakova, um, and I really love them because one, I love the style. I think it's super, super, super cute. This is the first one I got and read, I believe, Brave. Uh, and you know, you can already see right away if you enjoy this style. I love this book. So this series uh, deals with these kids all in middle school. They all actually go to the same middle school. You'll see the characters throughout the different books. Um, and they uh, are really wholesome, you know? I think it's really cute. They have a lot of diversity. They have um, a lot of like kids working together and having a good time at school. But they also deal with issues. So they deal with um, bullying, peer pressure, family issues like divorce. Um, there's, at least in one, there is an instance of cursing, but it's censored uh, in this one for sure. I don't think in the other ones. But uh, mostly I'd say these are really good for, you know, even younger middle school age, even, even late elementary school, um, because of the, the kind of the morals they tell and the stories they tell. And they're really, really cute. So good. Okay, next I've got this one. This is called Roller Girl, Roller Girl, by Victoria Jamieson. Um, so this one is about uh, friends growing apart. Um, uh, it deals with feeling different, nostalgized from old friends, and making new friends and sports. So it's about a girl starting to get interested in roller derby and so the fun she has with that but also the the friction she has with her old friends and how she feels different um there is some mild cursing in this one not censored so just know that uh, but it is really cute i would say good definitely good for middle school age um as long as you're okay with just a little bit of cursing it's not that bad then we've got The Breakaways, another kind of sports themed one. Um, this is a lot of friendship and relationship dynamics. Like you can even see from the cover, there's tons of characters in this book, like a lot. Um, there's lots of interesting subplots. So all different characters have feelings and like problems that they're all dealing with. Um, the main character, uh, lives with her dad in a one-parent household and she has this cool like fantasy subplot that she you see her kind of has in her dreams and her imagination which is really interesting um it's very diverse cast there's characters with mental health problems uh, the main character um has gets to deal with feelings of being a bystander and bullying and like how she should have helped other characters. Um, oh, there's also um, some plot with a character revealing that they're trans and another character revealing that they're lesbian. So there's a lot of um, LGBTQA uh, in this book too. So this one's really cool. Uh, a, a little more dramatic, a little bit more, you know, I would say intense I guess so maybe for older kids if that's something you think a younger kid can't handle but of course there's some younger kids who can handle it so that's up to the parents what do you think 
Um, there's some rude, there's some mild rude language uh, again, but there's that one. All right, the last book I have for this set is called Swing It Sunny. Uh, it's by Jennifer Holm and Matthew Holm. And it's set in the 70s. Oh, did I say that the Breakaways by by Kathy G. Johnson? Sorry about that. Anyway, Swing It Sunny. Um, it's set in the 70s, which is interesting. Uh, all the other ones were more modern. This one's actually set in the past. And about a little girl dealing with her feelings in, in those years. Um, the, the main character's brother has had some issues with like drug uses and he's been sent off to like kind of a boarding school and so there's this whole plot of her having to deal with him not being there and the feelings she has whenever he's mean to her or whenever he sees her uh, so it's pretty easy read uh, there's no cursing there's some you there's some talk of drug use um, and ne negative aspects of that so just so you know but I would say this one's pretty easy read um, not really heavy other than the subject matter okay I hope you guys are interested in these comics um, the theme of like young people in middle school dealing with their life and uh, I'll do another themed comic roundup soon. Bye guys.